Paula Scher is an American graphic design artist who was born on October 6, 1948 in Washington, D.C. She studied at the Stella Elkins Tyler School of Arts, also known as the Tyler School of Arts, and earned her Bachelor in Fine Arts in 1970. In 1972, she was hired by CBS Records to the Advertising and Promotions Department, but shortly, two years later, she left CBS Records to pursue a more creative career. She began her career as an art director in the mid-1970s. During the time of the early 80s, she started to approach typography, which is the art that requires technique to arrange letters and words to make a written language. One of her most credited uses of typography was through the playbill for Noise Funk. Noise Funk was a play that started off Broadway that ended up moving to Broadway that aired first in 1995. Paula designed this poster to make the play look very, very interesting and very busy. As you can tell, she looped and wrapped different words and paragraphs around the dancing African American in the middle of the page. Another one of her most famous works was the City Bank logo. In this logo, she was going for a professional and wealthy looking design. She did this knowing that a lot of people that would use this bank would be professional businessmen in cities like New York or Chicago. Instead of using the dots as eyes, she ended up using a swiped looking red line to connect them. This red swipe is supposed to resemble the swiftness of how easy it is to take out money or put in money through your bank. Also, it was used just to resemble the actual physical motion of swiping a debit or credit card. Another logo that Paula created was the Windows 8 logo. When she first created this logo, she got a lot of criticism due to the fact that a Chinese website leaked the actual picture before she was finished with the design. After this mishap, the Microsoft Metro team told her to keep the design simple. She, all they wanted was a big picture and little picture. This was recommended for a simple approach to bringing the logo back to a window and letting it function as a window in its behavior. The end goal was to make the logo seem as if there was no typography at all. But, as Sher says, when you do something simple, it seems like there's nothing going on. But, you have to think about that. As a designer, if you create something too complex, it destroys the ability to make complex things with it. Paula Scher was known for her subtle changes in typography to make designs look very simple and professional. This way, designers and other companies can make more complicated looking designs around these simple logos. Or